Her name is Jane Cormier. Representative Cormier serves Belknap District 8 and works towards the needs of Alton, Bonstead, and Gilmerton tirelessly down in Concord. She began her political career a little over a year ago and is the supporter of small government and states' rights. She writes a weekly column in the Weir's Times and looks forward towards educating New Hampshire with various commissions and how they will ultimately impact our community and our private property rights. Jane, please join us. Thank you very much. I think probably tonight, um, I'm just going to basically set the premise of why I thought this forum was really important. And that is uh, the explaining of what is really a very complex uh, regional planning commission and a workforce housing uh, RSAs that um, I think leave a lot of people wondering how this impacts me and my family, how does that impact our community, and frankly um, until you have the time to really read through these voluminous documents, uh, those uh, threads are really hard to connect, those dots are hard to connect. And I see a lot of faces out here that I know. I think a lot of people uh, sitting here tonight has, have, have done a lot of that work and understand what it is that we're facing, which with workforce housing, housing is basically um, a federal agency bypassing our legislature and going into our communities to change zoning laws. And for someone that really believes that personal property rights are integral in our rights as citizens in our Constitution, any time that those rights start to become uh, invaded in any way, we should pay attention to that. And the, uh, the person who's going to really give you most of the information you're going to meet in a couple of minutes uh, has tirelessly worked to put this information forth. It's vetted information. It's information that you can read at your own time and, and in your own place, on the internet, following the documents, much of it is culled right from the RSAs themselves. Uh, the, all of the wording that's in this um, debate between regional planning commissions and the workforce housing um, has an awful lot uh, to do with understanding that your representation in Concord, in my viewpoint, is being usurped because we're not getting to vote on any of this stuff. The RSAs in 1969 were pretty much repealed and replaced. And they were replaced with a voluminous statement that went far beyond the intent of, I think, what this RSA was supposed to be, which was to allow municipalities to work together on, on, on projects. And that sounds good, and that sounds sensible. But what we turned into was um, a bloated section 36 onward uh, that to promote these purposes, uh, well, we'll go a little back, a little further. I'll read from the beginning. This is in your RSA. If you go to uh, your, your you know, computer and you look up New Hampshire RSA 36, you're going to find this. You can read it, read all of it. Okay, it starts, the purpose of this subdivision shall be to enable municipalities and counties to join in the formation of regional planning commissions whose duty it shall be to prepare a coordinated plan for the development of a region, taking into account present and future needs, uh, and they talk about agriculture, forestry, etc. That sounds fine, but like some government stuff, this goes on, and here's what it says. Uh, the aforesaid plan shall be made in order to promote the health, safety, morals, and general welfare of the region and its inhabitants. So when you read through this, uh, you know, these RSAs that go all the way to 3658, you start to see that the RSA really isn't about municipalities working together. It's about a much grander plan. We have Granite State Futures, which is a vessel to take our nine planning, regional planning commissions, we have nine regional planning commissions that were developed from this RSA. <coughs> and the Granite State Future is the vessel through which these nine groups work together. 
and they go out into our communities and they, and they work in our communities to change sustainability issues, they change zoning, they try to make it sound as though it's coming from the grassroots up to serve the needs of your community when in actuality it's a top down because much of the monies that are in these planning commissions come from federal agencies of, of EPA, of HUD, of the Department of Transportation, and that one's coming forth as we speak. There's an awful lot of money that's being generated now on transportation. Um, and, and it's really a smart growth thing. You can look up smart growth and you'll find out what smart growth is, but it's an, it's an, it's an idea. It's an ideology that we want to limit sprawl. And we do that by building up in our communities as much as possible so that we don't grow this way, we grow this way. Uh, the, the workforce housing uh, issue is huge because that's the phase that Granite State Future is working on now. Um, and there's an awful lot of money at the table, folks. Let's remember that the free money that comes from the federal government is your money, my money, and everybody else's tax money. So nothing's free, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, this money influences what happens on the community level. And once this is in play, we don't have much say. That's why forums like this are really important because we can inform people with the facts and then we can go back to our select boards or we can go back to our town planners, whoever, whatever city or town government we might have and we can speak up and we can say, no, we don't want this. We don't want this. I want you to know just in passing because I'm gonna get off, get off the uh, the microphone here, but I think this is very important. I finally have been able to pull the Lakes Region Planning Commission budget. Uh, it's an $800,000 budget. 600 plus thousand dollars of the budget goes to salaries and other professional, you know, work. That means that all of this great work that these planning commissions are doing are paying people to play. They're not really going in to develop projects that are going to help our communities. You need to be, pay attention where the money is. If you have any question on what's going on here, follow the money. It will tell you very quickly what's going on. Crop TV.